Hello, today I'm going to speak to you about making Spanish well and the importance of doing inheritance tax planning. The whole thing is to avoid problems, stress and bad scenarios that I'm sure we don't want to be there. So just follow with me for a minute what we need to bear in mind when making Spanish well. The first thing I will recommend you to do, number one, is to speak to your lawyer, family lawyer, and just always bear in mind you need to discuss the distribution of assets and the tax planning. Very important because sometimes you want to distribute it one way and sometimes the inheritance tax planning as the law stands today just gives you a different road. So very two important things to bear in mind. The second here, so let me just write with you here that it will be the distribution, civil, and here the tax. Don't forget this. This is key in making Spanish real. Now the second thing is just to discuss and include in the will assets, shares, dividends, life insurance policy, all possible rights. So it's important for you to discuss it with your lawyer what we're talking about to make sure this is tax efficient. This, it is important as well and I'll tell you why. In Spain, if you're resident in Spain, you live here and you didn't make a will, then the applicable law is the Spanish law. That means that if you say nothing, which is the case, all your assets will go to your beneficiaries, which will be at interstate and will be your children. Two thirds will go to the children. Or if you never make, that's making a will, and without making a will, the at interstate law in Spain says that the life interest goes to the husband and wife and the rest goes to the children. So probably if you are from a home country that you've got free disposal of assets, you could avoid that. So, once you talk to your lawyer about the civil distribution and the tax efficiency, make sure you use, let's call it this time, UK law applicable. If you're from a different country, just double check that that's possible as well. And you choose the applicable law of your home country. So, one and two. Let's go for number three. Right, you'll say, Ignacio, now how do we distribute it? Because depending on your wishes, let's make here wishes. This is one thing. Tax is another thing. And then probably just, I would say, protection in case you're gonna just name as beneficiaries to uh, grandchildren, not legal age, or you want to control that asset that you're living depending on the knowledge and age. So that's what I call always protection. So distribution, tax and protection is the three things that is important to have it to make decisions um, in time with family and with your lawyer. Right, the UK or the USA law or the Canadian law or whatever law is applicable because you could choose your personal law. Bear in mind, if you don't say that specifically in your will and you're living in Spain, it will be Spanish law, right? With the consequences that you have no control as you have it here. Why? Because the state will tell you who to inherit according to interstate law, right? Okay, let's move on. Things that I used to discuss with clients as well. Once we know the tax, we will discuss, do I make a legacy to one of my grandson, grandchildren? Then who's the beneficiary? My children. So 
If I make a legacy, how can it be executed? So you need to discuss it about who are going to be named as beneficiaries and legacies. Very important because then you could distribute it a tax efficient way. Right? Right. Then you've got the persons. And something I would like to discuss with you as well, and we will discuss it later, is probably it might be very recommended to organize, if necessary, even NI numbers of the beneficiaries in advance, you don't have to, it saves a lot of hassle, or even power of attorney. Bear in mind we're not knowing when this is gonna happen. So it's important, probably, if it's not a big deal, to discuss that with your lawyer, okay? I did go through a lot of problems because getting power of attorney if they're not legal age, etc., 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 or trying to get the NI number. So just any action you do in advance avoids stress and hassle in the future. So always think about it and discuss it with your lawyer. Now, beneficiaries, who are going to be my beneficiaries? Do we have it? Two sons? Do I have it for? Just to give you some, some tips, the more people is distributed and depending on the blood relationship, the tax will affect. Okay, so it's something to consider. It's not the same, you have three children, then four children, you, you split it into four equal shares, or you just have just two and uh, the blood relationship. These people could be from one marriage, these people is a different marriage, or these are not your children. So the tax is related to blood relationship, okay? Just for you to use the allowances. Right, we already have this because about who we're gonna name as beneficiaries and legacies, if applicable. Right, and now, what happens if these people are not alive by the time I leave? Okay, important. Number four here, substitution. Very, very important, why? Because when you make the will, it costs pretty much not much to think about these possible situations that might happen, even though there's 1% possibility, but it could happen. So what does it mean? What if I leave it to my son and my son is not alive? Then I put a clause. What clause do I use? Pre-disease, jointly disease, renunciation or incapacity. Very useful clauses, especially renunciation, because I could tell you later on, if it goes from husband to wife, at the time we might be talking about 20 years later, the wife might say, or the husband might say, I don't want it, I want to renounce because it will go to my children. Because the problem we have is that assets and taxes vary along the time. And we're making a will for today as stands today. So bear in mind, this is something to bear in mind, not just when you make a will, as circumstances change, okay? Right, we've got the substitution clauses, pre-disease, I will say here, pre-disease, jointly disease, renunciation, or incapacity. This is the four I like to have it in every single beneficiary or every single legacy. I like to have this. Why? In case my son is not alive, it goes to descendants. In case he didn't have a descendant, go to my nephew, or it goes to charity. But you need to say always, and try to always, find even a worst case scenario to make sure that you have full control of your will in Spain. Right, other important things. We talk about the law, the tax, the distribution of assets, beneficiaries, legacy, substitution, and now I used to include a clause saying that it's your wish that that assets that you're leaving to your loved ones 
is only for them. So in case of divorce, that will be not be part of their splitting assets. Okay, so I always include in case beneficiaries were divorced, this is your intention to keep that only for him as a gift and it could not be part of any divorce sentence, distribution, etc. It goes exactly to the person that you wish to have. Okay? Other important things you could include here wishes. You could say, I want to be, not necessarily because this is a civil, you don't need to say, I want to be cremated, I want to do this, I want to. This is pretty much instructions you could leave in the will, but it doesn't really affect assets. So you could still leave wishes in the will, even though it's not financial. Okay? Right. Good question I have now for you. National will or international? That's a good question. There is a lot of talking about, um, shall I do an international will? Shall I do a Spanish will in Spain or one in the UK? Well, my recommendation, if you have a lot of assets abroad and assets here, you could, you could have both. You could have one with your UK solicitor to keep things simple and one here. However, a lot of you might only have assets in Spain and probably a few bank accounts in the UK or a few bits and pieces over there. Then, in order to save money and go back there, do another will just for that, and it doesn't really cause a problem, then my recommendation will be do an international will. So, you will be talking about war worldwide assets, international will that covers Spain, and the UK or all over the world. That it makes sense because you might say, well, I have nothing, but I might have something. I might earn the lottery over there. I, you never know. It's better to have it just in case. Or the other option is you do one in the home country. If you're able to do it. Some people say, no, I'm not gonna fly over there. Well, let's do one here and you could always change and do another one over there. Bear in mind, every will revokes previous one especially here in Spain, and there is a clause for it about revoking previous wills. So we need to make sure if he's talking about Spanish assets or international assets, whether we are talking only about something specific or not. Okay, so this is something important for you. Right. You will say, enough here. how could I make things easy? Well, executor. We include um, in the wills the clauses about being the executor of the will and making things as you wish. We include a clause here which says that, for example, if you leave a property, if by any reason any of the owners do not want to keep the property in their name, you already give instructions to the executor to sell it and split the money. That's a very useful clause because there is no arguments between the family. Some people might buy them out or not, but that clause saves problem. The whole point for the will is to make things easy for your loved ones and avoid stress for them. That's the whole point. And the more things you cover, the more protection you offer to your loved one. Right, cancellation of previous wills will be the other tip and pretty much will be the clauses that I will recommend you to review, think. Now, you could say, Ignacio, what about taxes? Well, here we go. Let me just uh, see whether I could explain to you just how might be split it and the allowances that you have in this will. Right, husband, wife, leave it to four children, right? Just as an example, we can make it as complicated as, as 
could be the circumstances. Right, remember, distribution is one thing, inheritance tax, it affects on your decision. Okay? Right, you've got a property of 300,000 euros, and it is important for you to know what community you're going to be living in and where are your assets. Let's concentrate here. We are in Costa Blanca, Comunidad Valenciana, and in 2021, which is now because the law could change anytime. We come from a system which we didn't pay too many inheritance tax. It was pretty much nothing. And now you've got allowances, but depending on your assets, you could end up paying some taxes or more taxes. Okay. So tax planning is key as well. At the same time, you discuss it with your lawyer about the distribution of assets. So you've got 300,000 euros. You've got 150 here and 150 there. If the husband passes away, he will have to make in the will saying whether it goes to the wife, whether it was for the four equal shares. Okay. And it is important, and then you need to sit down and work out the case as scenario, because you might end up having a 600,000 euros villa. And at the time, you need to bear in mind how much will be at the time the allowance. I could tell you just now. At the moment, just rough figures, it is 150,000 euros allowance from husband to wife, wife to husband, or children on your main property as long as you don't sell it within five years in this community. So that means that if the property is worth 300 and you're living 150, then it's tax free. Then you have another extra allowance. You've got 100,000 euros roughly allowance for each beneficiary, you see? One, two, three, and four. Everyone has the same allowance. 150 and 100. 150 will be on their property, 100 will be on the rest of the assets. And after that, you've got a 50% of discount on the tax, depending on the blood relationship. We're talking today now the simple scenario of husband, wife, four children. Okay? I'm not getting into complicated scenarios because we could be here for a long time, as you might imagine. So, bear in mind, as today, property, main property, and you need to prove it was your main property, 50% goes to wife. And this is another scenario. Depending on the inheritance tax, you might recommend to leave it to husband and wife, or probably just pass it on down. Because if you pass it to husband and wife, this goes first. But depending on your wishes and the family wishes, it's hard to say, I, I, will, I will think, uh, these will pass on back again to them. Or they might say, Nafio, I will go back to my home country or I will sell if that happens. Well, that's fine. That's, that, that's a possibility. But it's very important in the will you reflect and think with family and the lawyer that you're dealing with, the family lawyer. Plus the inheritance tax. Because in this case, you might say, we're talking about tax free. You've got the allowance on property. Let's say you have 100,000 euros in the bank, but that is going to be split depending on one, two, three, and four, 25,000 euros. Still doesn't, you don't pay tax. They don't pay tax. Um, so it will really vary on whether you've got many assets and the value of the assets and the time when you pass away. I think it's a good exercise and important to do inheritance tax simulation. And I think it is important for you to discuss as well about the distribution and the control, because you could still transfer and do a legacy of the life interest for one, the legal ownership for the other one. Or you could put conditions here uh, to grandchildren if they're not legal age, or you want the executor to withhold the money and just pay when they are at the university. So there, is, there are many, many options you have, but the most important thing you need to do is to think about possible scenarios that you will be happy. The whole key of this 
is to avoid problems, pay the list according to law, and be in a situation where everything is being planned and controlled as your wishes um, were stated in the will. Thank you very much. Any questions, please let me know. Thank you.